This was an interesting study showing that berberine uh, significantly inhibited the activity of disaccharidase in the uh, small intestine. And of course, this enzyme would help to break up the uh, carbohydrate and the fat in the digestive tract uh, to help with the absorption. So uh, by inhibiting this enzyme, berberine would inhibit the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream. Um, a side note, quercetin also has this effect. Another common supplement that we use for in diabetes is alpha-lipoic acid. Uh, taken either orally or intravenous, uh, lipoic acid can help with both insulin sensitivity and uh, glucose excretion through the liver. It typically works within a month. Uh, however, there hasn't been a lot of um, lowering of hemoglobin A1C to date as far as the research goes. Psyllium and fiber is another product that I often recommend in diabetes. Uh, in this particular study, psyllium was found to reduce uh, uh, postprandial glucose as much as 20%, even in type 1 diabetes, which uh, when you think about it, it does make sense that the more fibrous the food, the slower it's metabolized, the slower it enters your bloodstream. Uh, the more refined food uh, typically has a much higher glycemic index and enters the bloodstream, uh, crosses the gut barrier much more quickly. So the fiber itself can actually reduce insulin levels, uh, reduce insulin uh, stimulation, and it also will reduce serum cholesterol by uh, 9%, uh, including the LDL cholesterol by 13%. Um, this particular study showed that actually mixing the f your food with the psyllium seed husks uh, slowed down the food absorption to a point that uh, caused these effects. Chromium is uh, more well known in diabetes. It uh, actually lowers fasting glucose quite efficiently. It increases insulin sensitivity and uh, over time will lower the hemoglobin A1C readings. Um, it seems to help with food, uh, or sweet cravings, and helps to decrease the weight gain and fat accumulation that often occurs in diabetes. Uh, in this particular study, they found toenail levels of chromium uh, were lower in uh, type 2 diabetic patients. Magnesium is also a critical uh, nutrient to help in type 2 diabetes. As little as 100 milligrams a day is associated with a 15% reduction of risk of type 2 diabetes. So magnesium can be a major player because it is such a common deficiency in the development of type 2 diabetes. Uh, in existing type 2 diabetics, 25 to 38 percent were found to be deficient. And also in people with uh, more advanced kidney problems, these people were found to have lower levels of uh, serum magnesium. Biotin is another nutrient that we uh, typically use. It seems to potentiate the chromium levels. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, by lowering, uh, by combining with chromium, biotin helps to lower blood glucose levels and also the hemoglobin A1C levels in type 2 diabetes. And these are particularly useful when uh, other oral hypoglycemics are being used, including metformin. Uh, biotin has also been shown to decrease peripheral neuropathy in diabetes. And I'll mention here, uh, in pregnancy, uh, diabetes of pregnancy, vitamin B6 seems to help with the, uh, regulate the estrogen re re uh, dependent enzymes that are involved in uh, aggravating diabetes during pregnancy. Um, here at the clinic, we found that it's better to take the pyridoxal 5-phosphate, <coughs> which is a smaller, uh, you can, which you can take in smaller doses rather than the higher dose vitamin B6. 
Um, magnesium combined with B6 can also uh, uh, synergize each other. And also, uh, once the baby comes, uh, probably the B6 should be stopped or lowered since it can suppress lactation. Uh, common books that I will recommend in, uh, for diabetes is the Paleo Diet, which uh, I mentioned earlier uh, is high protein, um, high healthy fats, very low in carbohydrate. Um, Victory Over Diabetes is a, another classic that uh, talks about how food allergies can aggravate blood sugar. And the Inflammation-Free Diet is one of my uh, uh, common books that I recommend, mainly because it does uh, combine looking at food uh, uh, balance uh, in measuring their glyce the food glycemic index, the omega-3 balance, the uh, antioxidants that are contained in the food, and also many foods will have natural anti-inflammatory chemicals that uh, create uh, an, more of an infl inflammation-free system. Uh, another book that uh, is very popular is called Sweet and Dangerous, um, which uh, reflects more on the history of the use of sugar and, and uh, how the increase in sugar intake, especially in the 20th century, was uh, created so many problems to our health. Uh, for those looking for more information, I would Google uh, on your computer glycemic index and also a uh, 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 insulinemic index, which uh, interestingly can give you a whole different parameter as far as comparing different foods. So to sum up uh, on these couple of slides, I'll um, just re-mention most of the things that we've gone over here. Um, diet, exercise, and hormones are probably the most critical things uh, you can do for lifestyle and, and keeping your blood sugar very, very even and, and just maintaining optimal health. Um, the number one product that I think is found to be most useful is berberine. And um, I'm not necessarily recommending the dosage that uh, uh, you can see on the screen here, but these are approximations and everyone is individual and I would recommend uh, consulting with your practitioner on, on just the right amount that might be useful for you. Um, alpha lipoic acid we talked about, psyllium seed, of course fiber is very critical. Uh, make sure you use the whole husks rather than just the powder. Um, chromium, magnesium, biotin are very important. Other things uh, I haven't mentioned is L-carnitine, uh, which is known to help increase circulation through the body. Uh, vanadium is also very important in small doses. And also omega-3 fatty acids can help, uh, especially in monitoring and maintaining a, a healthy uh, cholesterol level. Uh, one of the things Dr. Wright has found in his practice is the use of niacinamide to help regenerate the pancreatic beta cells in producing insulin. Other things I can recommend, uh, uh, which has probably less research, but um, are very uh, health promoting. Uh, the use of cinnamon can help keep your blood sugar more balanced. And also green tea uh, can, uh, of course, contains lots of polyphenols and uh, loaded with antioxidants. Uh, the herb Galega officinalis was the original plant that was um, processed and uh, metformin is actually a takeoff of that plant. And that ends our talk tonight on diabetes and uh, we welcome uh, any of those listening to please call the clinic if they have any other questions and uh, or if they need any other support with their health. Uh, the doctors here at Tacoma, at Tahoma, would be uh, honored to work with you. Thank you very much.